Let's get started on your Algebra 2 lesson over factoring, and today we're going to focus on factoring out a GCF, or greatest common factor, and factoring by grouping. We're going to use the grouping method when we factor polynomials that are, have four terms, so four-term polynomials. So first, let's review factoring out a greatest common factor, and I first want to review how to multiply this monomial right here, right here, by this binomial right here, right? We've got one term multiplied by two terms. So what I'm gonna do is distribute that term into each term inside the parentheses. So 2x times 3x is 6x squared, right? Coefficients, then variables, so numbers, then variables, minus 2x, right? 2x times negative four is negative 8x. So negative 8x becomes minus 8x. So 6x squared minus 8x. When we factor out a greatest common factor, we are actually going to divide the greatest amount that these two terms right here have in common. So again, I'm going to look at coefficients, then variables. What's the greatest common factor between six and eight? The biggest number that goes into both of these numbers, it's two. So I'm gonna divide out a two from each term. Now let's look at the variables. I've got x squared in this first term right here and x in the second term right here. I'm gonna divide out the variable that has the smallest exponent, okay? So it has to be in common between all terms that I'm looking at, but I'm gonna pull out the least amount, okay? So 2x, 2x. So that's the greatest common factor that I'm gonna factor out. So I'm gonna do 6x squared divided by 2x. Well, six divided by two is three x squared divided by x. Well, if I divide out an x, I've only got one x left. Negative eight divided by two is negative four. Then x divided by x, well, that x gets pulled out. Okay, so um, two x times three x minus four is this polynomial right here factored um, in simplest form, right? And we factored it by factoring out a greatest common factor, which is what you always wanna look for first when you're factoring polynomials. So one of the things that you need to, rem you really need, a lot of my students always forget, is if I start out with a polynomial that has two terms, when I factor out a GCF, I'm still gonna have two terms inside my parentheses, right? One term right here, one term right here, okay? So let's move on to example number one. 20a squared plus 8a, the greatest common factor between 20 and eight is four. That's the biggest amount that goes into both of those terms. Then a squared and a, what's the greatest amount that they have in common? A, right? So I'm gonna take the variable with the lowest exponent, exponent because that is the greatest amount that they have in common. So I'm gonna divide out for a. I'm gonna divide it out of each term. So let's look at the first term. 20 divided by four is five. a squared divided by a is a plus 8a divided by 4a. 8 divided by 4 is 2. a divided by a, they cancel out, and I'm just left with 5a plus 2. So 4a times 5a plus 2 is this polynomial factored by factoring out a GCF. Let's move on to number 2. So now I have three terms. So let's look at the greatest common factor that we're going to factor out of all three terms. So I'm looking at six, nine, and three. What's the greatest common numeric factor? It's three. That's the biggest number that can be divided evenly out of all three numbers. That's the one, the greatest amount they have in common, right? Greatest common factor. Now let's look at our x variable. Each one of these terms contains an x variable. This one has x cubed, x squared. This one has x. The greatest amount they have in common is just x. Right, so it's that variable with the lowest exponent. Then each one of these terms contains a y variable. The greatest amount I can factor out is just y. So now that we've determined what our GCF is, it's three xy, now let's determine what each of these terms looks like when we factor out or divide out that GCF. Let's look at our first term. Six divided by three is two. X cubed divided by x is x squared. Y squared divided by y is y minus nine divided by three is three. X squared divided by X is just X. Y divided by Y they, is one, right? So they cancel out. 
I'm not going to write 3x times 1. I'm just going to write 3x plus, and now I've got 3 divided by 3 is 1. I'm not going to write that. x divided by x is 1. I'm not going to write that. y squared divided by y is y. Now, if this had like y squared right here, right here, if that had y squared, and it were 3xy squared divided by 3xy squared, I would write a 1 right there. Did I miss something? Okay, no, I've got three terms here. So that's really what you want to pay attention to is that I have, if I start out with three terms and I divide out a GCF, I'm going to have one, two, three terms inside my parentheses in my um, polynomial and factored form. So let's move on to example number three, 24xy plus 6y. So my uh, greatest common numeric factor is going to be six. And then if I look at the x variable, both terms actually do not contain an x variable. So I can't factor out an x variable, right? It has to be in common. But when I look at the y variable, they both have a y variable. So I've identified my GCF as 6y. And when I divide it out of each term, 24 divided by 6 is 4. I'm not dividing out or pulling out, right? So sometimes I have my students visualize like I'm pulling out that x, right? Well, I can't pull out an x, so that x is going to stay there. Then y divided by y is 1. Plus, here's a great example of 6y divided by 6y is 1. Right? I have two terms that I start with. When I factor out a GCF, I'm still going to have two terms. Let's move on to example number four. Four. Not 14. Four. Okay. So looking at these three terms, the greatest common numeric factor is 2. Right? I can't factor out anything bigger than 2 because some of these numbers, some of these coefficients are 2. Right? So it can't ever be bigger than your smallest coefficient. Right? So now let's look at our variables. They all contain a's. a squared is my smallest exponent. So I can factor out an a squared from each term. Now let's look at the b's. All right, right here, b squared that's my smallest exponent, so I can factor out a b squared. So my GCF I've identified as 2a squared b squared. So what am I left with when I factor that out? Why don't you pause the video and try to do that now on your own and then restart it and check it. So you should have gotten 14 in this first term right here. 14 divided by 2 is 7. a to the fifth divided by a squared a squared is a cubed, right? I'm factoring that out. b cubed divided by b squared, I'm left with b. In the second term, plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. You can write a 1 there if you want. a cubed divided by a squared, I'm left with just a. b squared divided by b squared is 1. Again, I'm not going to write a times 1, okay, or 1 times a. Not, not in Algebra 2. In Algebra 1, I might do that just so you know that 1 times a, okay, that's what that, that coefficient is always assumed to be 1 when there's no coefficient there. Now let's look at the last one. 2 divided by 2 is 1. a squared divided by a squared is 1. b cubed divided by b squared is b. Again, just double check your work. You always want to make sure that you have three terms. If you have three terms that you're starting with, you've got three terms inside your parentheses when you factored out a GCF. So that's how you factor out a greatest common factor. Let's move on to the next little portion of factoring a four term polynomial by grouping. And we're actually gonna use factoring out a GCF when we factor a four term polynomial by grouping. So the first thing I wanna do is when I've got a four term polynomial, you can see it's written in standard form, right? Highest exponent is written first. What we're gonna do is group the first two terms and the last two terms. So we're going to group these two terms and we're gonna group these last two terms. And then we're gonna factor out a GCF from each term. And this is what, um, or each binomial, okay? Factor out a GCF from each binomial. That's probably what that should say, binomial. So when I factor out a GCF from this first one right here, x cubed plus three x squared, well, I can't, there's no numeric GCF, right? I can't factor out, I'm not gonna factor out, um, a one. I mean, I can pull out a one, but you know, one times whatever variable I'm going to factor out, I'm not going to write that. So now let's look at both these terms contain x's. The greatest amount I can factor out 
is an x squared. What am I left with inside these parentheses when I do that? x cubed divided by x squared is x. 3x squared divided by x squared is just positive 3. And now I'm going to factor out a GCF from this second binomial right here. 8x plus 24, what's the greatest common factor? Well, obviously, um, I'm only going to have a numeric GCF, and that is going to be 8. When I factor out an 8, 8x divided by 8 is just x. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So what do we notice here? We notice that um, my I have a GCF right here and a GCF right here, and then the binomials that we're left with are um, the exact same. So if you ever factor this and you do not get like the same um, binomial inside the parentheses, then it can't be factored, all right? So it would be prime. So what you're gonna do is when you notice the binomials are the same, okay, you're gonna put your GCFs together, right? So I've got x squared plus eight. I'm gonna put those GCFs together, x squared plus eight. And then the binomial that's the same becomes my other factor, which is x plus 3. Okay, so that's how we're going to factor by grouping. And that's how we factored this um, four-term polynomial using the grouping method. So let's use the same steps and let's factor these last four examples here. So on number five, it's written in standard form. I'm going to group the first two terms and the last two terms. And I'm going to factor out a GCF from the first two terms which is x squared. What am I left with when I factor out an x squared? x cubed divided by x squared is x minus x squared divided by x squared is one. Remember, if I have two terms and I'm factoring out a GCF, I'm gonna have two terms after I factored out that GCF. Let's look in this second half of this polynomial. So four x minus four, my GCF is going to be positive four. When I do that, four x divided by four is x, Negative four divided by four is negative one. So at this point, you really need to pay attention to, am I factoring out a positive four or a negative four? And what you wanna pay attention to is you really want what's in these binomials, right, in the parentheses to be the same, okay? So um, you'll see an example of that coming up. So now let's put together our GCFs, x squared plus four, and then times x minus one. That's how you factor that by grouping. Let's move on to number six. I have a four term polynomial here. I'm gonna group my first two terms and my last two terms. So x cubed plus two x squared, negative three x minus six. So when I factor out a GCF of those first two terms, I get x squared. What am I left with when I do this? x plus two. In the second binomial, or this, the second half of this polynomial, what would I need to factor out of this negative three X minus six so that I get X plus two inside the parentheses? Positive three or negative three? I'm gonna factor out a negative three because when I do that, negative three X divided by negative three is positive X. Negative six divided by negative three is positive two. So that's how I know when to factor out a positive or a negative. And now let's put these together. My GCFs, when I put those together, are x squared minus three, and then the binomial is my other factor, times x plus two. Let's move on to example number seven. In example number seven, I'm gonna group my first two terms and my last two terms. What's the GCF in the first two terms? It's two X squared. I'm gonna factor out a two X squared. Six X cubed divided by two X squared is three X. Two X squared divided by two X squared is positive one. What do I need to factor out of this second half of this polynomial, the second binomial here? What do I need to factor out to get three X plus one inside the parentheses. And again, if you can't, then it's not factorable, right? It's prime. Should I factor out a positive five or a negative five? If I factor out a negative five, I'm left with negative 15 X divided by negative five is positive three X. Negative five divided by negative five is positive one. 
So now let's put this together. Change colors here. I'm going to put my GCFs together. It's 2x squared minus 5 times my binomial is my other factor, 3x plus 1. Let's move on to example number 8. In example number 8, I'm going to group my first two terms and my last two terms. And why don't you pause the video and try to do this on your own. So hopefully you pause the video and try to do this on your own. I'm going to walk you through and you can check your work. In the first binomial, 3x cubed minus 8x squared, the GCF is x squared. What am I left with? 3x minus 8. In the second binomial, the GCF, what's it going to be? Negative 3 or positive 3? Negative 3. When I factor out a negative 3, I'm left with 3x minus 8. When I put my GCFs together, I get x squared minus 3. And then my binomial is my other factor, times 3x minus 8. And that is how you factor a four-term polynomial using the grouping method. So today we've reviewed how to factor out a GCF, how to factor a four-term polynomial by grouping. I hope this little review was helpful for you. Good luck.